We're going to try this one more time. Hi, my name is Emily Robbins and I am in Nashville, Tennessee. And this evening I am making a couple batches of laundry detergent. Um, and I've been making this for about a year and a half now and using it um, pretty much for everything. We do have the Young Living um, Thieves laundry detergent for some of our wicking material, um, the clothing that you either work out in or go fishing in, sometimes those uh, get a little stinkier. So um, anyway, I thought I would get on here since I'm making making it uh, for the next couple of months and show you how easy it is because it's not hard at all. So hi Kate, um, let me use. So one of the main ingredients is uh, Arm & Hammer Super Washing Soda. Uh, here in Nashville, you can find this in um, uh, Publix. Oops, that's where I found it before. Um, I also order it on uh, Amazon. And then I also have this super huge bag of baking soda. Get this at Costco. And then borax is the third bigger ingredient. Um, and then the last one, I went ahead and already graded. Um, this is... Uh, a bar of soap, and I prefer the Dr. Bronner's um, bar that's made with uh, coconut uh, coconut milk. And um, um, it's actually for those of you that are hikers, backpackers, or actually through hiked with me. Um, many of us used it while we lived outside. Um, I used it for a lot of things when I was doing my Appalachian Trail. Uh, through hike. I use the liquid form, which I use for a lot of things now in, in my home as well. Um, but Dr. Bronner's has the best, uh, one of the best clean soaps if you're looking for that. And you can use it for your foaming hand soap. You can use it for body wash. You can use it for all sorts of things. So it's pretty fantastic. Um, because I've already made two batches, uh, this last batch is made with another um, brand that's a little bit darker. So this is not Dr. Bronner's. It's not my favorite, but I had it so I'm using it. Um, and then last but not least, um, my favorite part is the essential oil. So tonight we are using lavender and eucalyptus in my laundry laundry detergent. That's become kind of my favorite combination. Um, so that'll go in towards the end. Um, and then of course, y'all check this thing out. Um, this was my mother's food processor and I've had it now for, I guess, two years. Um, it's even been completely uh, modified. Uh, I think the night or two days before my wedding, the plastic piece broke out um, and my whole family was together and we were making food. And so my husband whittled down a piece of wood and put it in here and it still works great. Um, anybody else have a food processor that might be as old as you are? Um, let me know. And also let me know if you've made your own laundry detergent before or if you're interested in making your own. Um, again, it's just these ingredients and you blend them all together in a food processor. So I'm going to put my phone, my handy dandy knot holder, and let's see if it'll hold it. And so like I said, I already grated the soap. I didn't want you guys to have to listen to that noise. And I use the attachment, I use this attachment to grade it. You can also hand grade it. Um, when I taught a class yesterday, we didn't have this attachment for the food processor there. So I just hand graded the soap. And then I switch out the attachment and put in one of these, the little mixery things. And then I pour the soap right back in. <laughs> um, so you put one, the recipe for this laundry detergent is one bar of Dr. Bronner's unscented um, soap. You can find those at Target, at Whole Body or Whole Foods, and also I get it um, on Amazon. That's probably one of the best places. You can buy a pack of six. And I have a whole list of where I order things from, so I can post that in a little bit so you guys can see that. Um, but the ingredients are one bar of soap, a cup of borax, a cup of the um, Arm & Hammer, Hammer baking soda, and then a cup and a quarter of the super washing soda. And then I normally do anywhere between 10 to 15 drops of essential oils, depending on what they are. Tonight we're going to do um, probably about seven of eucalyptus and six of lavender. That's what I like. So um, take my little measuring cup here and I'm going to pour out one cup of the borax and add it to the soap. 
I also would love, um, so every once in a while I see something about borax not being uh, completely safe. And I would love to hear your opinions, your thoughts, your experience. Because um, if it really, like if someone can find some definitive information, um, I may end up changing what we use. But so far, even John looked it up the other day because I was asking him about it. And we couldn't find anything. You shouldn't ingest it, that's for sure. And it did used to be a food additive. Um, all right, so one, one cup of borax, one cup of baking soda. And then, like I said, a cup and a half of the uh, super washing soda. Oh no, a cup and a quarter, my bad. And I've been making this for so long, I kind of just throw it all together. Um, one of the important things is once you mix all these together, you want to let it sit for a minute. Um, so I'm proud of that. Because it makes such fine dust that you don't want to breathe that in. Um, safe. Remember, stay safe, guys. All right. So I put that all in. You get to watch me blend it together. So now my goal right now is to mix it all up and to grind the, um, the bar of soap into smaller pieces so it's all just the exact same. So here we go. Ready? This only takes a minute. All right, that's all been pretty blended together. So like I said, you don't only want to take this off that quickly. I'm not uh, trying to breathe that in. And now I'm going to add seven drops of lavender. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then eight of eucalyptus. Maybe. One, two, three, four. Five, I think I'm out. Six, seven. We're going to go with seven. And then we mix that up again. Make sure all of that is all together. Okay, the cool thing is, it's done, is even if you don't have essential oils, you can make this laundry detergent. It still works really well. It cleans your clothing. Um, like I said, sometimes we run into a trouble if with like workout clothing, stuff that doesn't uh, breathe on its own really well. Um, synthetic, uh, fishing shirts and workout stuff. Sometimes those hold on to their scent, but I'm, we've figured out that if you actually use less of the soap, it works better. So try it, give it a shot. Um, but yeah, all of these ingredients, you don't have to have essential oils. The essential oils just make them smell so delicious. Um, and you can try uh, all sorts of different kinds. I know people who do just lavender, some people do a citrus, citrus and eucalyptus, peppermint. Um, it's all deliciously wonderful. So um, that's pretty much what you do. We keep ours stored in a mason jar. So here's the two previous batches I made. I typically make two or three of that um, at one time and then we keep it stored and we have a tablespoon near our, um, in our laundry room and use one tablespoon for most loads, unless you feel like it's a really big load than used to. And uh, this probably lasts about two months or so. Um, so pretty cheap. Uh, I do want to say I also use Thieves or have Thieves laundry soap um, from Young Living on hand. And sometimes we use that for our stinkier workout clothes too. Um, I've had a blast this past year making the majority of our um, products in our house. Um, I don't know how much you guys know about what we do, but uh, it's been, I've been pretty intentional to get rid of things that have extra toxins in them. And so we've made most of the things that go on our skin or that we use uh, in our home, we make ourselves. Except <laughs> last year, I tried so hard to make my own and I was not, it was not uh, working out. So I'm using dish soap made by Young Living, their Thieves brand, and it's amazing. It smells really good um, because mine... Oh, it just turned into gel and it didn't clean well. So if you have a great dish soap, let me know. I'd love to try it. Um, but also, I think I've already asked, but let me know if you've ever made your own laundry detergent or if you're going to try it now. Um, and let me know what you guys think. And also, let me know if there's something else you want to um, learn to make. So I hope you guys have a great Thursday evening. And um, yeah, thanks for watching.